Don't hit your head. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ariel. You're watching She Wants Addiction. And today I'm here with my special guest, Adam, aka my boyfriend, if you don't know. And we're gonna be talking about the controversy uh, between J. Cole and No Name, basically. Kind of. I just, whenever you get awkward, you just. <laughs> so if you haven't heard J. Cole's song, uh, Snow on the Bluff, you should probably go and listen to that because that's what we're going to be talking about. Or don't. Yeah, it was honestly worse than I thought it would be. Um, I knew it was going to be bad because I already saw everyone on the internet talking about it and make fun of it, but it was worse than I predicted. <laughs> J. Cole has always been kind of whack, I feel like, but he... He crossed a line on this one. Um, so basically, if you don't know the drama, No Name tweeted calling out a bunch of big name rappers that weren't speaking up about Black Lives Matter. And then uh, J. Cole apparently felt called out by that song or by what she said, even though she didn't mention anybody by name and made a response song to it. Like <laughs> he didn't directly say her name, but like everyone knew he was talking about her. And yeah, the song was bad. Like, musically, I don't even feel like it's a good song. I don't feel like it was that bad. I like, I guess I liked that there wasn't a beat. You that's liked that? That's I didn't me. like that. That's a forgettable, no one's ever going to play that song again after this is all over or remember that song. Or I mean, even yeah, care. it's just a beef song that yeah, isn't that great. Beef songs, bro. Yeah, I think rapper beefs are <laughs> just so dumb in general to begin with. Like, literally, why? The only beef song that matters is Hit Em Up. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Tupac. Oh. At least I'm pretty sure. That's I'm showing what it's my ignorance. All right. So what? Am I just gonna read some lyrics and then? I mean, I can't read the first word, but. Oh, should I just? I should say it every time you can't read it. Uh. Okay. Niggas. <laughs> okay. Since Adam can't say the n word, I'll just I'll just say the I'll say the n word for All him. All right. So go ahead. Niggas. Be thinking I'm deep, intelligent, fooled by my college degree. My IQ is average. There is a young lady out there, she weighs smarter than me. Oh. Oh. I scrolled through her timeline in these wild times. Oh, that rhyme. Yeah, that's cool. Timeline, clean. wild times. No. Oh! Wow. Oh. <laughs> he thought hard on that one. Okay. And I started to read. She mad at these crackers. Oh, can I say that? Can no, you say sorry. crackers? <laughs> Pretty sure you can say crackers. She mad at these capitalists, mad at these murder police. Wait, mad at these murder police. Mad at these murder police. That's what they're called, the murder police. You didn't know there was the word murder before that? Okay. Well, it works. She mad at my... Niggas! She mad at our ignorance. She wear her heart on her sleeve. She mad at the celebrities. Low-key, I be thinking she talking about me. Ooh! And that's... I wonder why. Because <laughs> she is, bitch. Now, I ain't no dummy to think I'm above criticism. So that was a fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> so when I see something that's valid, I listen. But shit, it's something about the queen tone that's bothering me. So yeah, there's, there's the a good, queen tone. There's, stop, there's a good stopping point, I feel like. Okay. We can talk a little bit. So she a queen, but... No, I feel like he's saying she's not a queen. The queen well, tone. Like subtly, like that queen tone, you know, like talking down. Like, you okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Like she's talking shit on me, bro. Because normally I see when people say queen, they're like, that's the queen. That's, it's like a good thing, but. Right. He means it. I feel negatively. like it's a, I feel like it's a sneak diss, you know? Mm, yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. Especially because he say that queen tone that's bothering me. Yeah. And it, he says that right after he says, so when I see something that's valid, I listen. But this wasn't valid. Okay, okay. Her criticism, I feel like, was 100% valid, though. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I have such a problem with, is he had such a problem with being indirectly called out that he felt the need to make a song. Yeah, if it's not valid, then how you know who's talking about you, Then bro? why were you butthurt? I feel like only real criticism gone hurt your feelings, like... You immediately knew she was talking about you. I wonder why, like... I don't know, and also, okay... I just want to say something that bothers me is he's talking about having a college degree. My IQ is average. The other thing is he tweeted out about, um, he hadn't done the reading. So he felt like he couldn't speak up yeah. about black lives matter, which 
if you've been on the internet at all, that's like a thing that white people say. It's like, I didn't want to say anything because I was too afraid to say the wrong thing. When it's like, every voice is important. Like, and especially for, if you're going to position yourself as a conscious rapper, like, and then get offended when people are like, why aren't you speaking about these these social issues that you already talk about in your songs? Yeah. There's going to be a huge Black Lives Matter movement and you're just going to stay silent? Like, how is that cool? That's a, that, that is a valid criticism. Like, to me, that's the definition of a valid criticism. Like, she didn't make you go rap about those topics. Like, you chose to speak on that, to speak on that stuff in your songs. Like, yeah, she wasn't just like, oh, you make party rap. She, we're not criticizing a uh, ASAP Rocky or, <laughs> you know, yeah, we're not like, Future, where are you in the Black Lives Matter movement? No one cur, because like, we already know Future doesn't care. He's doing his, he's mask off. He's, <laughs> he's <laughs> promethazine. He's, he's whatever, you know, like. <laughs> He's on his lean. Like, we don't expect them to show up to the party. But, like, conscious rappers like Kendrick and J. Cole, like, hell yeah, we expect you to be there. Like, excuse me? Like, yeah. you should be at the protest. Like, you should be saying something to your legions of fucking fans. We gotta say J. Cole did go to one protest so that we don't get called out. Oh, yeah. So we'd be like, oh, he went to one. We get one, <clears throat> that one person in the comments. Actually. Was it before or after? It was before. He was called. Okay. Just wondering. But still, you couldn't take the time to say anything? Yeah. Like, especially something that I feel like he's been talking about in his music. Like, not Black Lives Matter directly, but he's been talking about, like, police brutality, racism, like, all these kind of things. And then you have a giant movement that's in support of a thing that a lot of your music is about, and then you're just silent? Like, why? Are you more for yourself, or are you for the cause? Because I feel like the only reason to stay silent would be, like, you're like, I didn't, I'm not leading this movement. Like, I'm not making money off this. I'm not, like, that's just my thinking is, like, why wouldn't you speak up? Yeah. Like, I don't get it. She strike me as somebody blessed enough to grow up in a conscious environment with parents that know about the struggle for liberation and in turn provide her with a perspective and awareness of the system and unfairness that afflicts them. Wow. And the clearest understanding of what we gotta do to get free. And the frustration that fills her words seems to come from the fact that most people don't see just because you woke and i'm not that shit ain't no reason to talk like you better than me how are you gonna lead when you attack in the very same oh sorry niggas <laughs> that, re <laughs> that really do need the shit that you saying instead of conveying you holier come help us get up to speed shit it's a reason it took like 200 years for our ancestors to just to get freed. These shackles be locking the mental way more than the physical. I look at freedom like trees. Can't grow a forest like overnight. Hit the ghetto and slowly start planting your seeds. Fuck is the point of you preaching your message to those that already believe what you believe. I'm on some fuck a retweet. Most people is sheep. You got all the answers, but now you gon' how you gonna reach? If I could just make one suggestion respectfully, I would say it's more effective to treat people like children. Understanding that time and love and patience that's needed to grow, this change is inevitable, but it ain't none of us seen this before. Therefore, we just gotta learn everything as we go. Sorry. Jesus, that was... That was a lot. Okay, fuck a retweet. No one was asking you to retweet. You are, on social media, the most powerful, quote-unquote, people are the ones with the biggest following, the biggest influence. If you are a huge musician, which he is, and you have a huge following, no one is asking you to retweet other people. They are asking you to tweet out your support of Black Lives Matter. That's not being a sheep. That's being a fucking leader. Yeah, and I mean, he, he just said earlier that he didn't know what to say. I mean, if you really don't know what to say and you really have that much trouble with it, retweet. why don't you just retweet something? Like, that's, that's pretty this easy. This motherfucker is so contradictory. Yeah. He really is. He contradicts himself within the song like a million times. Mm -hmm. Talking about she's talking down to him because she's woke and he's not. Yeah, just because you woke and I'm not. Well, at least you admitted you're not woke. <laughs> what? That was the strangest position to have. Like You're woke and I'm not. Just because okay? you're woke and I'm not? So you're at least Crickets. woke enough to realize that you're not woke <laughs> or what? Like, what? Are you, like, proud of that? Yeah, I that's... Don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. I feel like if you're a conscious rapper, you should be woke. Like, we thought you kind of were this whole time. Like, 
granted, a lot of male hip hop artists are still huge misogynists, which I would classify J. Cole under that. Like, he's not, he's not special, you know, like, he's not different, but to say, just, you know, you're not woke. And then be That'd like, be really you are, but your criticism sucks. Like, how are you ever going to get woke if nobody woke ever tells you, hey, you're fucking up? Yeah. Or, like, what is, where are you supposed to get growth from? That's what I'm not understanding is, he has such a problem with hearing this criticism that he wrote this song while saying all this into valid criticism. Like, I'm lost. I'm lost. You lost me. I don't even know what's happening. Yeah, I'm open to criticism, but this isn't a valid criticism. Also, like, I'm not woke. But he roasted himself. You're woke, but you. So you're saying she's woke, but also the things she's saying aren't valid. That's contradictory. I don't get it. If she's woke, then you should listen to her. And then okay, it uh, it's a reason it took like two hundred years for our ancestors just to get freed. Okay, the the line before it. Wait, instead of conveying you holier, come help us to get up to speed. It's a reason it took like two hundred years for our ancestors just to get freed. Really. She's literally trying, and the reason it took 200 years for us to get freed is fucking white supremacy and slavery, not something we as a people did wrong. Like, Some black lady talking, telling you how to get woke. That's the reason. That's the reason. This motherfucker yes. is so... See, I've been knowing J. Cole's problematic. I feel like other people have been, like, sucking his dick for so long. <laughs> but, like, I've been knowing this motherfucker was fucked, and I'm not... I don't know why it caused a big shitstorm because i'm like i don't know why y'all surprised he's been acting like this like fuck is the point of you preaching your message to those that already believe what you believe if you already believe what she believes why are we having this discussion why are we having this argument we contradict ourselves again i L literally uh a few lines earlier you woke and i'm not but we believe the same things this is so this is okay i said this earlier but this really reminds me of like how an abusive boyfriend is yeah <laughs> like this song is just like he makes no sense. Like, you don't even know, you don't even understand what he's saying because he's just constantly flip-flopping back and forth just to confuse you. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't know where the fuck he stands because he don't even know where he stands. Like, the, sh the fuck? Like, what is this Say shit? one thing with your words, but, like, actually mm. subtly say another thing. As far as treating people like children, this, this harkens back to, I saw a lot of discussions on the internet around Black Lives Matter and white women basically just saying, we're still toddlers when it comes to learning about race, so you need to treat us treat us like we're baby. Like, no, you're a full-grown woman. This is like, I hate how he's just echoing things that a lot of, like, white people said that are new to the race conversation. Like, he's making a lot of the same blunders, and it's like, motherfucker, you are black. Like, you are mixed. I wonder if it's just you're so insulated from having money. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, like we were talking about with, like, Oprah and shit. It's like, yeah. you get rich, and then you are away from your initial community and you're insulated from a lot of that racism because you're a celebrity and you have all this privilege and all this money and then you forget what the struggle actually is yeah because you're so you think you're you think no one's racist against you anymore because you know you got all this money so but you just think racism doesn't exist when in reality you're just famous i like this line i struggle with thoughts on the daily <laughs> he struggles with thoughts <laughs> <laughs> oh Thoughts. Oh, it hurts. Oh. <laughs> and also, okay, he's like on point with this line, but isn't able to like actually realize what he's saying. Feel like a slave that somehow done saved enough coins to buy his way out of slavery. Like, exactly. Exactly. Well, what you were just saying about Oprah. Mm. It's too rich. Yeah, you're to right to experience it anymore mm, yeah i didn't even i didn't even feel like i heard this part the first time we listened to it. we only listen i only listened through it one time thinking just maybe in my pursuit to make life so much better for me and my babies i've done betrayed the very same people that look at me like i'm some kind of hero because of the zeros that is next to the commas but look here a uh, subtle flex about his money no but look here i promise i'm not who you think i ugh. i promise i'm not who you think ran into this nigga I just assumed I didn't even look. Outside the store yesterday, he said something like, something that had me like, wait. He was like, Cole, appreciate what you've been doing, my... Nigga. That's real. But damn, why I feel faker than Snow on the Bluff. I don't know what Snow on the Bluff even is. It's apparently a movie or something. Oh, okay. Well, maybe because deep down I know I ain't doing enough. So we're back to 
back to valid criticism. So you admit you're not doing enough. You're maybe not doing enough. Not even, I'm not doing enough. Maybe I'm not doing enough. <laughs> all that, all that back and forth and all that to say maybe. Maybe. Really? Well, maybe deep down. Oh, there was more? It was an outro, but it really doesn't have anything good. The sun is shining today. What does that have to do with anything? Faker than snow on the bluff because the sun is shining? Is that what it is? He's melting. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Basically, that's a hot mess. Just like J. Cole. <laughs> Just like J. Cole's music and J. Cole in general. Bro, should we look at No Name's song? I feel like she had some good uh, roasts in there. Some good rebuttals. Okay. Hers wasn't even like a full song. She only needed like a verse. Yeah, she's like, a minute, that's enough. She's like, that's, you get a minute of my time, motherfucker, and that's it. I saw a demon on my shoulder. It's looking like patriarchy. Like scrubbing blood off the ceiling and bleaching in another carpet. How my house get haunted. Why toy and body. What is that? That's a person. That was a person that was just murdered. Nineteen year old. Oh damn. Uh, how come I didn't black hear about activists, that? basically. Jesus. There's been a lot of them killed. Why Toy and Body don't embody all the life she wanted? A baby, just nineteen. I know I dream all black. I seen her everything, immortalized in tweets, all caps. They say they found her dead. One girl missing, another go missing. Yeah. But their chorus was was real shit because people do keep dying. Yeah, but uh, niggas in the back, <laughs> quiet as a church mouse, basement studio. When duty calls to get the verse out, I guess the ego hurt now. <laughs> it's time to go to work. Wow, look at him go! He really about to write about me when the world is in smokes. Mm, mm. She said the truth. <laughs> when it's people in trees. Being lynched and shit. There have been people getting angry. That's crazy. No, there really, there really has been. Yeah, like, it's wild. She is, she is so in the fucking right, bro. When George was begging for his mother, saying he couldn't breathe, you thought to write about me. See, mm. Mm. one girl missing, another girl missing. Yo, but little did I know, all my reading would be a bother. Oh, mm. oh. It's trans women being murdered, and this is all he can offer. This is all y'all receive. <laughs> Distracting from the convo with organizers. They talking abolishing the police. And this the new world order. We democratize in Amazon. We burn down borders. This the new vanguard. This a new vanguard. I'm the new vanguard. Mm. What's vanguard? I don't know what that means. It's like, like sort of leader of an army, kind of. It's like... I believe it's the first part of the army to like advance. Mm, mm. She's saying like she's making new territory. She's she's that she's a she's at the head of the movement. Yeah. And J. Cole's just like, I don't know, did I do enough? I don't know um what I'm doing. I just feel criticized. I like I like, okay, look how focused her fucking song was, I feel like, even though it wasn't that long, and how messy his song was. Yeah like it's all over the place all the he's trying to cover all this ground where she was just like uh you know like like i'm not even a no-name fan but i might be after this <laughs> like, <laughs> i've been not liking j cole ever since kod <laughs> no name the shit bro kod was bad i just feel like j cole is corny he's preachy mm. i mean like you could be corny there's definitely a place for corny rappers like drake is one of the biggest rappers alive and he's corny as fucking hell <laughs> but and then you're gonna be preachy like kod he was like don't do drugs guys even though i do drugs <laughs> like I, I smoke too much medical marijuana but don't do drugs kids on drugs it was dumb that's that's when i really really stopped listening to him like i wasn't that into him i just fell off after that and then his whack song about folding laundry <laughs> <laughs> you want a cookie you want a cookie straight boy for folding some laundry Wow. I'm so proud of you. See, yeah. the thing that annoys me is I feel like he he sometimes does speak the truth and he comes so close to making good songs and being like somebody like I feel like Kendrick is. Like, uh, granted, much less sophisticated. <laughs> like, lyrically, sorry. But he sometimes I feel like he comes so fucking close. Like, certain things that he says, I'm like, that's on point. Like, Even in that song. Like, mm. He had a few lines that were like, so you're not listening to yourself? 
it might be a matter of if you just shoot randomly, eventually you'll hit the target. I always thought it was intentional, but... Broken clock. Yeah, right twice a day or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I always assumed it was it was more intentional with him, though. Because that's why most people classify him as a conscious rapper, not... Semi-woke. Semi-woke, only on the one few things he wants to be woke on. But, like, the things that he supposedly is woke on is he raps, like, about issues black men are going through. So that's why I don't understand his unwillingness to show up for Black Lives Matter or say Black Lives Matter. Like, you are black, motherfucker. There should be no question <laughs> of whether you say you support or not. Like, yeah. Or you, you want to look down at yourself? Okay, this reminds me of Childish Gambino line. Actually, um, we all look the same to the cops. So <laughs> that's not the full rhyme. But, like, so you being light-skinned isn't going to save you. Mm. That's, what, that's what I'm not understanding. He's like, I'm special because I'm a celebrity and... Yeah. I'm white and I got money, you know? Uh, uh, uh. Boy. I wonder if he's going to fire back. Because this uh, motherfucker be petty. I feel like she destroyed you, bro. She really did. <laughs> he destroyed himself with the stupidity <laughs> of that song. Like, she didn't even need to say anything. But, damn, mother, how can you be so dumb? Yeah, I like how she she really just said, like, how are you going to be talking about me? You, she didn't even address any of the things he said because he, she didn't need to. All she had to say is, like, why are you out here talking about me when there's crazy shit going on in the world you're right focusing now. in on one person's one other rapper's tweets when you could actually be doing something yeah for the cause you could be you have all this money you have all this influence you have a responsibility as someone with a platform who regularly speaks on these issues in his songs to do more than just argue and start petty shit and rap beefs with other people in the community like get on get with it then like yeah. get with it like it is so frustrating. I find that so frustrating. Like, not even as a rabid fan, not as a stan. Just somebody <laughs> that, like, used to like his music casually. I'm upset. So I can't even imagine, like, being a stan of him right now. J. Cole's the best lyricist of all time. Yep. According to someone on my Facebook. People really think that. How? Oh, how? How? This song, like, I get what he's trying to say. Like, not everyone is woke. Like, I feel like you could see the difference between, just to compare, like, J. Cole and Kendrick, like, Kendrick kind of said the same thing, but with much more sophistication and to Pimp a Butterfly, like, as that whole album was talking about, I feel like, the butterfly is the people that, that like, are woke, and the caterpillar is, like, yeah, like, the come up, like, it, it, it can work on multiple levels. It can work as, like, a come up, and I feel like it can also work on, like, getting woke and stuff like that, like, caterpillar to the butterfly, but I feel like he just, Kendrick just does it in so much, so much better of a way, so much sophisticated of a way, and this is, like, grade school like these are like j cole's crayon scribblings of he's trying to say <laughs> he's trying to say you know for the capital to the butterfly but like he can't like he can't like focus in he can't i don't know what i'm trying to say he can't deliver it yeah he, he except and, directly just like saying statements yeah and there's I feel no like poetic it's, it's, it's not poetic yeah and even on his other songs and like I feel like he's like you were saying earlier he's not it's hard for him to stay on one subject what's the la sisters what's that song one time for my la sisters one time for my la hoes yeah what's the song called no though? role models yeah no role models he's you were saying he's like talking about six different things yeah it's like he i feel like he has trouble focusing on one thing and really narrowing it down and i'm not saying there's no place for just a straightforward rapper or like straightforward lyrics i think that's a good thing if you're if that's accessible or whatever yeah like accessibility i feel like that's part of his popularity is just like the accessibility of his songs and stuff but at the same time don't compare that to art <laughs> don't compare that to kendrick because that's on a total that's on a totally different it's still art but different plane different. yeah but it's it's like i don't know is that something you're gonna want to listen to time and time again the more you listen to it does it get better Mm. I don't think so. Because the more I listen to, to Pimp a Butterfly, I'm going to be honest, I didn't even like it at first. Yeah. But the more that I liked a few songs, and then I started listening to the whole thing, I wouldn't even say I've even listened to it that much, but the more that I listened to it, I was like, I like this more. I feel like I'm understanding it more. Whereas, I don't know if that's true about The more you listen J. to it, Cole. the less you like it. <laughs> <laughs> we better hope the stands don't find this. If I, <laughs> if I actually do post this and the stands find it, oh, it's all over. Oh, we dead. So yeah, that is that is quite silly that that's what he chooses to focus on in this time is uh, firing back 
you know, a petty, yeah, petty, mean, petty shit. Could have easily just been like, you know what? You're right, no name. Black Lives Matter. Like, and he could easily just also, this is something I've seen a lot of black celebrities doing is like donating money. Yeah. Because I haven't heard anything about him donating money. So that's an easy, you don't even have to, you don't got to do shit. If you're not going to be, like she said, if you're not going to be the vanguard, if you're not going to be on the front lines, give money to people who are out there doing the work. You, you're you rich. You're a celebrity. Put your money where your mouth, like, it feels like he's not putting his money where his mouth is because, like, he'll say all this shit in his songs, but then he's like, when it comes time to actually be there, where are you? Like, <laughs> where are you, motherfucker? And there's so many different ways to show up. It's not even just protests, like, monetarily. Like, I can't even think of them all, but that's not your only option, you know? Yeah. Like, just using the platform that you have, whatever, calling awareness, like, it's so disappointing, but like I said, I'm not that disappointed, because I've been known. I've been known about J. Cole. Yeah, and I, I really don't give a shit. <laughs> he really doesn't like him. <laughs> 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 I guess we just needed a needed someone who loved him to make this video complete. Oh, shit. We should have invited your one friend. God damn it. Uh, you want to be in a video? I, I do want to know what the fuck he, like, somebody like him would think of it, this song. They I think his stands, like, that's what stands are, is they don't care what you do. They're going to be 100% behind you. Hmm. They're probably just like, leave J. Cole alone. You know, like, leave Britney alone. It's leave J. Cole alone. That's unfortunate, because people are probably going to take that as truth whatever he said and he'd be like yeah you need to treat us like children stop being so mean you're not children though and also another thing about children is mm. you need discipline it's not just okay do whatever you want little bobby yeah like sometimes you have to be like no sometimes yeah. you have to take stuff away from them so if you really want to be treated like a child you just got treated like a child <laughs> yeah for real though like, like that's not all there is is love and rainbows and hearts and hugs like yeah <laughs> This motherfucker don't know what he'd be saying. Like, extend the metaphor. I feel like he can't mm. extend his metaphors. Like, if you keep going with that metaphor, it doesn't work. Yeah. Like, pick a better metaphor or just don't. If it's too much for you, just don't use metaphors at all. <laughs> he doesn't really very much. So. He doesn't very much just because he's not physically, he's not mentally. Okay, I'm just dissing the man straight up now. Like, he's I mean, you've got people with tiny-ass platforms, obscure YouTubers who make shit about books, <laughs> who are speaking up about Black Lives Matter, but celebrities, black celebrities, can't be bothered to. And that's just gross. You're black. You have all this influence. You think you, you would just be there, no question. Like, why is there a question to whether you would support it or not, or... Like, whether you would take the time to get woke or not. If you know you're not woke, why are you not taking the time to get woke? Yeah. Like, do like you're saying, I haven't done the reading. Then do the fucking reading. But in the meantime, I think you can agree with a simple statement, Black Lives Matter, if you can't agree with that. I yeah. mean, I've said this multiple times. If you can't agree with that simple statement, you're a racist. It's not a hard statement. You yeah, don't need to be educated to agree. Pretty simple. Say that. Do your reading. Shut the fuck up for a while. Because you're <laughs> losing your shit on petty arguments that you are losing. Yeah. And then come back. If you feel like you're ready to be a leader, be a leader. If you're not, get behind No Name or somebody else that actually is. Why do you have such a problem with getting behind a black woman? That's another thing. Is like, why do black men have such a problem with getting behind black women? Yeah. And misogyny. I feel like if it was a black man who said that mm. to him, he probably wouldn't have had the same problem with it. It wouldn't have been the same type of criticism, but because it was coming from a woman. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole nother level. Black male hip hop artists, but just black men in general have a problem with, with women. <laughs> with, with black women. Like, I, I don't know how to say it any any better than that it's it's a real thing like fucking i was reading sister outsider by audrey lord she talks about that like, that shit is old okay like 70s at least and she was still talking about these same issues like back then it's like black men are not showing up for black women in the black community and or even just like are black men showing up for transgender black women that are murdered like mm. you know like you gotta show you gotta show up like you should be supporting not infighting. Like, how does this help you to divide a community against itself? Like, yeah. Then that's kind of what one of her one of her whole essays was about. And I'm like, if that was 30, 40 years old, and we're still doing the same shit, like, really? Mm -hmm.